बटलर वलमर मॉडल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड काइनेटिक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट्स डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट दैट द पोटेंशियल ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोड इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट इफेक्ट दैट अफेक्ट्स द काइनेटिक्स ऑफ रिएक्शंस अकरिंग ऑन इट्स सरफेस फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी हैव एन इलेक्ट्रोड एंड द सरफेस इज इन कांटेक्ट विद एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सो द इमीडिएट विसिनिटी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोड सरफेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल रिएक्शंस For example, hydrogen evolves rapidly at some potentials but not at others. Another example is copper dissolves from a metallic sample in a clearly defined potential range. Whereas this metal is stable outside the specific range. These phenomena can be explained uh, using the fundamental concepts like uh, for uh, an electrode uh, uh, if it's an organic material it will have uh, homo and lumo level and for metal electrodes we have valence band and conduction band and here we have uh, a valence band edge and a conduction band edge so for this case if you apply a negative external voltage the formal level of the metal electrode is raised and for example if the uh, energy level of the electrolyte that can be a uh, lumo level so with application of specific negative voltage we can raise the level of this conduction band to a value that it is able to donate the electron that is known as interfacial charge transfer so we can see that the uh, analyte species present in the electrolyte solution is reduced whereas when the positive voltage is applied to the electrode the fermi level of the electrode is lowered which led to the interfacial electron transfer from the electrolyte solution towards the electrode resulting the oxidation of analyte so in this way we can see that the external potential is an important factor that control the kinetics of interfacial electrode reactions they can be either reduction or oxidation and the rate of electron transfer is mainly defined in terms of current generated at the surface of electrode the current is directly proportional to the rate of electron transfer and in terms of concentration we can see from this equation that the uh, this current is actually a difference of cathodic and anodic currents so by uh, expressing the currents in terms of uh, forward rate constants with concentration of the analyte present in the electrolyte at the surface of the electrode and the backward rate constant and concentration of the analyte that is uh, reduced form so here we can see that the uh, the current generated is actually the difference of the net rate reaction that is forward minus the net rate reaction that is backward 
So it is far for all phreatic processes because the interfacial potential difference can be used to control the reactivity and we want to able to predict the precise way in which the KF and KB depends on potential. So now we will discuss the effect of potential on energy barriers in order to explain that how the rate constants kf and kb are affected with the application of potential in order to understand the effect of potential on the shape of energy barriers that led to the controlled electrode reactions so for this purpose consider a reaction like we have sodium so we have a reaction in which analyte is uh, sodium ion that is dissolved in a form of salt in acetonitrile or dimethyl formamide known as DMF. And here we have used mercury as a mercury electrode and this sodium ion is reduced to sodium that make amalgam with the dropping mercury electrode. For this reversible process the standard free energy profile along the reaction coordinate which is taken as the distance of the sodium nucleus from the interface. So here for example if we have the interface of the mercury electrode the distance between the sodium nucleus with respect to the surface of mercury electrode is taken as the reaction profile so here we have coordinate it is reaction coordinate and uh, here we have the profile energy profile with respect to energy uh, reaction coordinate so if the reaction is uh, reversible and here we have the boundary so this side is rectants and uh, I'm taking this side as product so it means that if here is reduction so reverse will be oxidation So this side of the profile is amalgam and this one is solution. So the number of 
oxidized and reduced species are equivalent to the concentration of amalgam and sodium ions at the surface of the electrode and uh, this is the free energy of the barrier which correspond to the energy of transition state so now let's see what happen if we apply the positive potential to this system so let's first uh, explain the configuration so here we can see that the energy of the species is independent of the nuclear position in the uh, solution and the amalgam that the ion must be partially or completely dissolved to electrode in a form of sodium amalgam to a left configuration correspond to the reduced form of sodium at the surface and here is the distance within the mercury drop if you move from the uh, interior of the mercury droplet you can see that uh, when the sodium is reached to a surface of the mercury droplet and uh, you are moving towards this direction that is the oxidation so here the energy of the system is increased until a complete electron transfer at a specific distance of sodium ion with respect to the mercury and here is the transition state where the curves co corresponding to the reactants and products are intersecting and the height of the relative barriers towards the oxidation and the reduction determine their relative rates so, so for this case the height of the reduction and oxidation is same so here the energy of the potential barrier is at equilibrium or the equilibrium potential so now suppose that the potential of the electrode is changed to a more positive value the main effect of application of positive value is the uh, lower energy of the reactant electron hence the curve corresponding to the oxidized form of sodium is dropped with respect to the corresponding sodium amalgam since the barrier for the reduction is raised and that for the oxidation is lower the net transformation is conversion of sodium to sodium ion so here uh, we can we can see the rate of oxidation of the 
sodium to sodium ion is increased so it can be uh, confirmed from the from our previous discussion that uh, in which uh, we had applied a positive potential to the electrode uh, leading to the lowering of the fermi level of electrode leading to the interfacial charge transfer from the analyte towards electrode so here analyte is oxidized leading to the increased forward direction similarly setting the potential to a value more negative then the energy as compared to the equilibrium potential that's uh, depending on the standard electrode potential of the two species so with the application of uh, negative potential as compared to the equilibrium potential it raises the energy of the electron and shift the curve for this species to a higher energy whereas the barrier for the this species is dropped down as compared to this one hence the net cathodic current is contributing to the overall or net current in which cathodic current have major contribution whereas in the previous case the anodic current had major contribution as it explained by the previous description in which the negative applied potential have raised the fermi level of the mercury to a higher energy so the energy of the electron is raised leading to the reduction of analyte so from these examples we have qualitatively determined the effect of potential on the net rates and direction of electrode directions so by considering this uh, model closely we can establish a quantitative relationship that will be explained in next lecture thank you so much for the attention